motorcycles, electric motorcycles now. They've been building them for racing purposes for some time, but they've just bought out a a very competitive road bike. It's called an LS218, and this is a very impressive bike. I had to talk to Mr. Richard Hadfield, who is the CEO and the founder of Lightning Motorcycles. Hello, Richard. How are you? Very well, thank you. Now, I got your news release on the Lightning LS218, and uh, you make some uh, pretty big claims in that uh, about the uh, speed capacity of the bike and about its power and all that sort of thing. It's an electric motorcycle, but it's a beautiful-looking bike. Can you tell us just a little bit about how it came into being? Uh, um, so I, I got involved with electric vehicles um, in the mid-1990s. A group of friends... Uh, had developed an electric Porsche for a national competition, road race competition in the U.S. And at the time, I was driving uh, Formula Mazda open-wheel cars uh, competitively, and they asked me to get involved with the team and drive it. Uh, I I got involved in driving it and uh, in developing the suspension and handling and uh, really became fascinated with the whole electric drive aspect. Um, So we we raced that a couple of years and had some success with it. And uh, at the time, we didn't have good lithium batteries, so we were were really heavier than than we should be to be competitive. So I kept uh, kept my eyes open for a source for uh, lighter, better batteries and found some a source for lithium batteries in uh, 2006. I I took a friend's. uh, R1 race bike and installed the lithium batteries and electric drive system to uh, see if it worked as well as I thought that it would. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it actually exceeded uh, our expectations, and we've been building bikes and developing them since then. Now, the LS218, uh, you've, si- you've said in your news release, puts out over 200 brake horsepower and uh, has a top speed. Well, the, it set the speed record at Bonneville, what, about 230 miles an hour, I think it was, wasn't it? Well, actually, that's the, uh, the basis of the name, is it went through the timing lights at 218.6 miles an hour. Okay, so that's the LS218 is the 218 you're sort of picking up from Jaguar with giving us uh, top speeds by indicating that in your title of your machine. Uh, yeah, I've always liked, uh, uh, you know, uh, the way Jaguar did that, and, you know, we followed their lead. Now, this is a production bike, so anybody, well, in the States, I assume it's not available in Australia at the moment, but people could import it if they need be. Correct, yes. So what, what's it sell for in the States? Richard, what sort of money do you have to pay for an LS218? Uh, it's $38,800, uh, and that includes... Uh, 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 monoblock Brembo's forged uh, forged Marchesini wheels, um, titanium fasteners. So you know a, a lot of components uh, that you would typically find on a race bike. Um, so it's uh, you know it's an expensive bike, but it's it's ready to to go out and do track days or compete or or ride uh, you know to work on a daily basis. Well, I suppose it's in the upper range of motorcycle costings, isn't it? There are, are other European bikes that are probably, I know they're around that range in Australia, so I'd imagine they're that range in the States as well. Yes, Ducati has released their new uh, Panigale Super Leggera for 65000 so uh, I guess compared to that, we're a bargain. Now, you say in your news release again that it'll go around about 100 miles on a single charge, which is about 160 k's in uh, kilometres. But uh, So is that at any particular speed? Is that at road speed, or do you have to keep slower to do that, or how does that work? Yeah, so that's, you know, basically 65 miles an hour on the freeway. So, you know, the, the range of an electric vehicle is totally dependent on how, how aggressively you ride it. So... Uh, you know, riding normally on the freeway, keeping up with over that in, in range. Uh, on a road race track, competing at uh, at an event, it's uh, just under 30 miles. And at Bonneville, at over 200 miles an hour, it's 20 miles. Okay, well, that's that's reasonable road range, isn't it? I mean, you could certainly use it in, in, the, in cities as a commuter bike, and I think that's what you're selling it as, as a commuter bike, again, from your news release. Yeah, it's a bike that, uh, you know, someone could park beside their Tesla Model S and 
choose to ride it uh, instead of their Ducati or their BMW. Absolutely, and you've got performance that is certainly comparable with any of those bikes these days. Is that sort of the acceleration? Is the acceleration comparable with the with the uh, internal combustion engine bikes as well? The, the acceleration is uh, equal or greater than virtually any of the internal combustion engine bikes. So uh, we make uh, uh, over 160 foot pounds of torque across the RPM band. Uh, so, uh, you know, any time you, you roll the throttle on, the, the acceleration is just right there. And it's, you know, it's very different than an internal combustion engine bike because you have instant acceleration. And the longer you stay in the throttle, since the RPM is going up and horsepower is torque times RPM, the more horsepower you have. So the, the first sensation is you're kind of waiting for uh, the bike to nose over the torque peak like an internal combustion engine bike and, and to shift. But rather than that, the longer you stay in the throttle, the more horsepower you have and, and the more exciting the acceleration is. Look, thank you very much for your time. Just one more question before you go. Have you any intentions of exporting the, uh, the bike? Uh, we're, we're actively looking for uh, distributors and dealers right now in other countries. Absolutely. All right, well, look, uh, the very best of luck in selling this machine. I think you're headed down the way of the future. I don't think there's too much doubt about that because petrol is certainly a, a finite resource that will run out one day and you'll need other forms of uh, power. And that, that, this bike certainly, you've certainly bridged the gap uh, that may have been there in the past between electric vehicles and, and uh, internal combustion engine vehicles. Thank you very much. That's been our goal, is to give people a, an alternative uh, uh, motorcycle that uh, could meet or exceed the performance of, of uh, internal combustion engine bikes and, and be capable of being fueled from solar or wind or geothermal or, you know, any other source.